Hello, fourth grade. I'm excited because today I brought a chocolate bar to eat with my lunch. Yum. As you can see, it's broken up into four equal pieces. That means that each piece is an equal fraction, one-fourth. One-fourth of the whole chocolate bar. But how do we know this? Let's count them up and find out. One, two, three, four. We have four one-fourths. If we add them all up, what do we get? That's right, four one-fourths is equal to one. How do we write this as a fraction? If we have four one-fourths, we can write it as four-fourths. Now my friend Walter had a chocolate bar too, but he didn't eat the whole thing. He had one piece left and decided to give it to me. Thank you, Walter. So if I have a whole chocolate bar or four and one-fourth pieces, how many one-fourth pieces do I have if Walter gives me one of his one-fourth pieces? If Walter gives me one one-fourth piece, I will have five one-fourth pieces in total. We know this because we can add them. One, two, three, four, five. That's five one-fourth pieces in total. And how do we write this as a fraction? Remember, four one-fourths was written as four-fourths. If we add five one-fourth pieces together, we end up with five-fourths, or one whole chocolate bar with one-fourth left over. So one whole and one-fourth is the same as five-fourths. Now, is there a faster way to find out how many pieces we have? What if we used multiplication? Let's give it a shot. If we have five one-fourths, how would we write this using multiplication? If we have five one-fourths, we would write the expression as five times one-fourth. This means that five-fourths is equal to five times one-fourth. Let's take a look at another problem, this time with a chocolate bar that's broken into six pieces and we have seven of those pieces. Thanks again, Walter. How would we express this as a fraction? We would express this as seven sixths. We can check our work by counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven one sixths. And how would we write this using multiplication? You got it! We would write it as seven times one-sixth. You see, when adding equal fractions, multiplication is faster and easier. Try some more on your own, and you'll get really good at it. Meanwhile, I'm going to finish my chocolate bar.